Hey Doherty, at Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at www.wikipedia.org. Peter Doherty, born the 12th of March 1979, is an English musician and poet. He is currently the singer and songwriter of the band Baby Shambles, and has briefly reunited with Carl Barat, who was co-frontman and songwriter of the Libertines, with whom he first shot to fame. Since 2005, he's become well known to the public at large as a result of his relationship with supermodel Kate Moss, his status among fans, and his infamous rock and roll lifestyle. His drug problems, arrests, and court appearances are all frequently reported in the tabloid press. Peter Doherty was born in Hexham, Northumberland, England. He grew up at a number of army garrisons as a result of his father Peter's work as an officer in the British Army living at various times at garrisons in Catterick, Belfast, Germany, Bedworth, Dorset and Larnaca, along with his mother Jacqueline, a nurse of part Russian descent, and two sisters, Amy Jo and Emily. Doherty was the second of three children. He was academically successful, achieving five grade A stars and six grade A GCSEs at Nicholas Chamberlain Comprehensive School in Bedworth although this has been erroneously reported as 11 grade A's, and four passes at A level, two at grade A. At the age of 16 he won a poetry competition and embarked on a tour of Russia, organised by the British Council. After his A levels he moved to his grandmother's flat in London, where he said he felt destined to be, and got a job filling graves in Wilston Cemetery, although most of the time he was spent reading and writing while sitting on gravestones. He attended Queen Mary, part of the University of London, to study English literature, but left the course after his first year. After leaving university, he moved into a London flat with his friend and fellow musician Carl Barat, who had been a classmate of Doherty's older sister at Brunel University. Doherty was voted to be joint number one in Alternative Music Magazine NME's 2004 Cool List, along with fellow libertine Carl Barrett. It is a common misconception that it was only Doherty that topped the list. The following year he was placed at number 6, and on May the 10th, 2006, he was voted number 2 in their poll depicting 50 of Rock's greatest heroes. Career, the Libertines Doherty and Barrett formed a band called the Libertines in the late 1990s, Although it wasn't until 2002, with the release of their debut album, Up the Bracket, that they began to achieve widespread mainstream success. The group achieved a great deal of critical and commercial success and gained a dedicated cult following, with Doherty in particular being praised by fans and critics alike as one of the most promising songwriters to emerge on the British music scene for some time. However, Doherty's increasing drug problems led to his estrangement from the band. In 2003, he was jailed for burgling Barat's flat. The two initially fell out over the fair, but made amends while Doherty was in prison. He was originally sentenced to six months, which was cut to two months on appeal with the judge commenting, We feel that a custodial sentence was justified in the case, but sufficient credit was not given for his timely plea of guilty, which it should have been. We will we have reduced his sentence to two months, which will allow for his almost immediate release. Upon his release, Doherty immediately reunited with Carl and the rest of the band to play a gig in the Tap and Tin Pub in Chatham, Kent. Following his rejoining of the band, Doherty sought treatment for his drug addiction. He attended the award winning Alternative Detox Centre Wat Tham Krabok a temple in Thailand, famous for a crack and heroin uh, rehabilitation program, where he was beaten with bamboo cane and forced to drink foul herbal concoctions to induce vomiting. He left after three days and returned to England. As a consequence of this, the Libertines cancelled appearances they were due to make at the Isle of Wight in Glastonbury festivals. However, while post-production work was taking place on the second Libertines album, also called The Libertines, in June 2004, he was again asked to leave the band. 
The band cited Doherty's continuing drug addiction as the reason for his dismissal, but emphasized their willingness to take him back once he had addressed his addiction. Although Brad had previously stated that the Libertines were merely on hiatus pending Doherty's recovery, the group effectively disbanded with the end, this event at the end of 2004. All members are now involved in other projects, so yesy and dirty pretty things. In April t the 12th, 2007, Pete Doherty and Carl Brad played 13 songs together and the second of Doherty's An Evening with Pete Doherty gigs at the Hackney Empire, London. The reunited Libertines played What a Waster, Death on the Stairs, The Good Old Days, What Katie Did, Dilly Boys, Seven Deadly Sins, France, Tell the King, Don't Look Back Into the Sun, Dream a Little Dream of Me, Time for Heroes, Albion, and The Delaney. Collaborations Prior to the disbanding of the Libertines, Doherty collaborated with local poet Wolfman. Together, the pair recorded the single for Lovers, which ended the top ten, charting at number seven, in April of the, next, of the same year. Despite the success of the single, which was nominated for a prestigious Ivor Novello Award for songwriting, the pair received relatively little money, having already sold the publishing rights for a small amount in the pub. Later in 2004, Doherty provided guest vocals to the song Down to the Underground from the British group Client. The song was released in June 2004 as a B-side to the group's single In It For The Money and appears on their second album, City. In 2005, Doherty collaborated with the British rock band Little Lands on the single Their Way and in 2006, a number of artists featured on the track Janie Jones for the charity Strummerville with Baby Shambles. This included Dirty Pretty Things, We Are Scientists, The Kooks and The Hollyways, among others. In August of that year, it was announced that Doherty was recording with the Streets frontman Mike Skinner on a new version of Pranking Out from Skinner's latest album, Baby Shambles. See the main article on Baby Shambles. Doherty found Baby Shambles toward the end of his time with the Libertines. The group has released one album, Down in Albion, in November the, uh, 2005, and their second single, Fuck Forever, reached number four on the UK singles chart. The band's touring schedule and releases have occasionally been disrupted by Doherty's ongoing legal problems. During this time, he began a relationship with Kate Moss. On Down in Albion, Kate Moss sings backing vocals on La Belle et la Bête. This lineup of the band has changed several times, with drummer Gemma Clark leaving the band due to Doherty's drug problems. She was to be replaced with Adam uh, Fitzek. Guitarist and songwriter Patrick Walden has also left the band on at least one occasion before returning intermittently. Fellow British rock group Oasis had booked Baby Shambles to support them on their UK tour in 2005. However, Doherty was attending the birthday celebration of fashion designer Heidi Slomani with Kate Moss and the band spokesman claimed that he was unable to arrange transport back to the UK in time for the band's first appearance. As a consequence, Oasis cancelled Baby Shambles' support for the rest of the tour. In August 2006, Baby Shambles signed up with major record label Parlophone, on which they released the Blinding EP to good critical acclaim. In 2007, they have signed a long-term record deal with Parlophone. Guerrilla gigs, writing, and solo work. Darty has recently been rumoured to be working on new acoustic material, similar to the wealth of songs that can be downloaded on the internet. On his own, and often with his band, he has continued the Libertines' tradition of performing short-notice guerrilla gigs in small venues. On New Year's Eve 2005, Doherty held a guerrilla gig in his North London flat, where he showcased mo some of his solo works, many of which later leaked onto the internet. March the 31st and April the 1st 2006, 
Doherty performed two surprising solo gigs, his first gigs on the European continent, at the non-stop kino porn cinema and venue in Graz, Austria, after he failed to turn up in January. For this occasion he produced, at the suggestion of Bettner Eichbauer, friend of Doherty and owner of the non-stop kino, a film with the title Spew It Out Your Soul. Doherty has announced that he has signed a deal to publish his journals, in which he has recorded poetry drawings and photos across the course of his career with Orient Books. Most of Doherty's journals are freely available on the internet. The book is due out on May 2007. Controversies and Legal Troubles See the main article on Pete Doherty's controversies. Doherty is frequently in the news for his problematic lifestyle and drug habits. The influence of drugs on his life has already long ago reached such an intensity that in his younger days, to pay for his drug habit, Doherty worked as a male prostitute. He has been arrested many times, usually for drug possession, and sometimes for other offences arising from drug misuse, such as driving under the influence and driving with suspended driving license. Influences. In interviews, Doherty has listed his favourite books as Orwell's 1984, uh, Graham Greene's Brighton Rock, uh, Jean Genet's Our Lady of the Flowers, Le Fleur de Mal by Charles Baudelaire, and the complete works of Oscar Wilde. He has also mentioned Emily Dickinson and Tony Hancock as influences. Doherty and his father were once members of the Tony Hancock Appreciation Society. He mentions Hancock and makes an allusion to his famous phrase, Stone Me, an early song entitled, You're My Waterloo. However, numerous literary and musical allusions occur throughout Doherty's ongoing books of Albion. He places his particular importance on the romantic poets and on existentialist philosophers such as Albert Camus and Miguel de Unamuno. Uh, Doherty has also alluded to work by the Marquis de Sade and Do Thomas de Quincy uh, on the Baby Shalvin's amb uh, album Down in Albion there is a track called Arabour which is significantly influenced by the novel of the same name by Jory Karl Huismans his favourite films include British films of the 60s and 70s such as Billy Liar, Poor Cow, Lucky Man, and the film versions of Steptoe's Son. He cites Lee Mevers of The Lies as a musical influence, as well as The Only Ones, The New York Dolls, The Stooges, and Buzzcocks. He's particularly fond of The Smiths and The Clash. Darden and Carl Brad are fond of Cockney musicians Chaz and Dave. Doherty has supported up-and-coming British bands, such as indie band The Paddingtons. Doherty is also known to be a devoted follower of Queen's Park Rangers Football Club. As a youth, he wrote a fan sign entitled All Quiet on the Western Avenue. He sold copies of the fan sign on the club's grounds. However, its mixture of literary references, quotes, poetry and football stories proved unsuccessful with other fans. A frequent lyrical theme for Doherty is Albion, the ancient name for Great Britain. He uses Albion as the ship, also, of a, a ship sailing to a utopia na co named Arcadia, a place without rules or authority. Doherty and Barat shared a flat in London uh, at 112A Teesside Road, Bethnal Green, affectionately known as the Albion Rooms, despite being rather run down. Doherty named his diaries, in which he writes poems and other thoughts, the books of Albion. Family and personal life. Doherty has both an, yeah, an younger and older sister, Emily and Amy Jo, respectively. His mother, Jacqueline Doherty, is a nurse who recently published a book about family life with Doherty and his drug problems, called Pete Doherty, My Prodigal Son. Doherty's father, Peter Doherty, is an army officer. After numerous attempts to convince him to start serious rehab, 
In early 2005, his father decided that he was sick of broken promises and vowed never to eat his son until he is clean of drugs. The sensitivity surrounding the issue became apparent in the BBC Two Arena documentary about Doherty on the 12th of November 2006, which included footage of him talking about this aspect of his personal life. He was visibly upset and had to politely ask the interviewer at one point to stop filming. Doherty's had a tumultuous relationship with Kate Moss, frequently covered by the press. They met in January 2005 at Moss's 31st birthday party and have had an on-off relationship since. Moss has also taken to singing at some of Doherty's shows. On April the 11th, 2007, he announced Moss as his fiancée during the first of his solo gigs at the Hackney Empire, London, at which Moss also performed. Dardy also has a son named Astle with singer Lisa Moorish.